Hello friends! This week for Practical Magic I'm doing a ritual. I was contacted last week by a friend who is a end-of-life caretaker and she asked if I could do a ritual for her because her client was having a pretty big downturn. So I'm gonna share what I did. Let's get into it. So first off, because the woman who she's caring for is Catholic, I very much tailored this to a Catholic experience. So because she didn't know which patron saint this individual used, I found an image of St. Peter because he seemed appropriate in this case. And I also used one of my favorite pictures of Jesus Christ, O Jerusalem, because when you are asking for intercession in a Catholic sense, you ask the saints or you ask another being to go and talk to God for you on your behalf. Along with this, I also chose to use one of my resurrection plants, and I want to thank I.B. Corvus for mentioning these because I had not heard about them until her video using one over the 12 days of Yule. And then I also lit a variety of candles. I'm going to show the ritual component uh, now, so we're going to have a transition. At this time, I begin these proceedings on behalf of at the request of one of her caretakers, is nearing the end of her mortal life. And so, at this time, I light candles in vigil. Lord, we beseech thee, raise us up by the apostolic might of blessed Peter, thine apostle, that the weaker we are in ourselves, the more powerful may the suckers beware be. Through his intercession, we are strengthened and that thus, ever fortified, by the protection of thine apostle, we may never yield to sin, nor be overwhelmed by adversity. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Lead kindly light amid the encircling gloom. Lead thou me It is dark and I am far from home. Lead thou me on. Keep thou my feet. I do not ask to see. The distant scene, one step enough for me. I was not ever thus, nor prayed that thou shouldst lead me on. I loved to choose and see my path, but now lead thou me on. I loved the garish day in spite of fears. Pride ruled my way. So long thy power hath blessed me, sure it still will lead me on, or moor and fen, or crag and torrent till the 
night is gone, and with the morn those angel faces smile, which I have loved long since and lost. At this time, I add water to the resurrection plant. The resurrection plant is an herb that though at this moment it looks dry and dead, with just that small amount of water will return to life. For this is the hope that at the proper time we all return to life, to return to our Father in heaven, even God the Eternal Father. Over the course of the next 12 hours to 24 hours, we will see this plant go from dried and dead to green and alive. I close these ceremonies with the Lord's Prayer and clarify to those watching my selection of a black candle for the Lord's Prayer. Black candles are used to absorb evil. In this case, we are praying that we be delivered from evil, that nothing dark may bother her on her last journey. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we have also forgiven our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. One of the other things about these rituals, when you are using candles, there are a variety of ways to interpret candles. The way I was taught, well, part of the way I was taught, because I'm not going to get into everything here, is if it burns pretty cleanly, oh, I don't know what that is stuck to it. Um, if it burns pretty cleanly, there was not much resistance. This is the one that I put uh, the intercession to Peter on. So apparently she was just fine with Peter. Now the one for the Lord's Prayer, yes it started out as a black candle, but almost all the way down the glass is charred black. That typically represents intense opposition. So if it was a client who was trying to clear something up or put themselves in alignment, I would probably keep burning more candles, provided that they wanted me to and, and continued to pay me to do so. In this case, I was asked to just do a one-time thing. So I did a one-time thing and well, clearly she did not uh, want to listen to the Lord's Prayer. I hope that you have enjoyed this video and that it gives you some ideas about how you can do your own vigiling magic or your own healing rituals. Until next time, walk in the light, my friends.